out of Ohio, Dave wait, wait. Dubenmeyer. Sorry, sorry. Somebody on Facebook is asking, what is it called? I think the, you meant, or did you mention The Falling one? Star. The Falling Star. Okay. Sorry. Go on. Uh, Dave Dubenmeyer says that masturbation is gay because you're having sex with yourself. Dave, Dave Dubenmeyer, a Christian right activist, said on his past the salt live webcast that masturbation was wrong in part because it was a form of homosexuality he said that masturbation is a form of homosex you're having sex with yourself that's homosex folks uh it's male having sex with a male that's homosex this is him saying this okay if a woman masturbates that's a woman having sex with a woman that is a form of lesbianism that is a form of lesbianism i mean what else could you call it uh, you could just call it lesbian <laughs> i guess <laughs> but, um, who is this guy so okay so this guy is serious about this okay it doesn't matter if you're married to a woman if you're touching your penis um or as as he also put it if you're looking at yourself in the mirror and become aroused uh by your own body um, then you're gay. Okay, this is actually great. You know why? Because I, this guy is actually promoting gay tolerance. Because everybody masturbates, right? So yeah. he's basically calling everybody gay. I mean, I, technically he should be calling them bi, shouldn't he be? Like, because he's... Absolutely, or at, at the very least, yeah, right? Because it's not like if you masturbate... And you're attracted to women, then if you're gay, you're not gay. Then based on his logic, you should be bi. But this is great. Um, is it, who is this guy? Is this guy like famous or anything? He has he has his own webcast, uh, and he does he does have quite the following. Okay. Um, okay. But here's here's where this is also scary and detrimental, Armin. Um, and I just want to bring this up as someone in kind of in the heat of it. Uh, is this raises gay panic okay so when people take this shit seriously and you and i are laughing because he's this is ridiculous um and anyone who hears this is probably going to be laughing because people in our audience realize how ridiculous this is but if you look at the christian followers and you look at the people who take this stuff as a word take this as truth these are people who are saying oh my god i do masturbate that does make me gay and now i hate gay people um because i'm afraid now that i'm going to be attracted to them so so because i like to masturbate because i like to touch myself now i'm gay and if i see a gay man he is probably going to convince me to have sex with him. are you sure that would be the reaction i feel like the reaction were like hey if if touching myself is gay maybe there's not that maybe there's maybe being gay is not that, that bad would be the most popular reaction yeah. i think Maybe there's, I mean, uh, he basically, he called his whole audience gay. I mean, they all masturbate. So he just went and told all of them that they're gay. So maybe they think like, well, if that makes me gay, maybe I shouldn't be hating on gay people that much, right? Right. But no. No? With extremists, and especially with, you know, religious extremists that preach the idea. I'm not saying all Christians preach the idea that homosexuals are bad or it's a sin. Um, a lot of them are now coming out and saying that's not the case. Um, but there are an extremist, you know, bits of people throughout all Christian, um, sex that, you know, will, will, this will help rise the gay panic, unfortunately, for, for a few extremists. So, gay panic you know, sounds such a good name. Like, that's <laughs> a, the gay... my new, my new band name. Yeah, that's a, that should be a band name. Uh, but it, it shows, you know, this also highlights how much they have focused on, like, among all the Christian sins how obsessed these people are with homosexuality right because even i mean masturbation was already a sin in christianity but no for for them to really tell you why masturbation is bad the only way to be able to highlight that is to tell you it's gay it's not enough for it to be its own sin they're so obsessed with homosexuality for it for them to make you scared even more of it they were like it's not just a sin it's gay <laughs> like, like yeah i mean <laughs> this is no, I mean, it has to be two sins, right? <laughs> yeah. like why is it that among all the sins the, the homosexuality is the one that they picked as the one that they want to be the most sensitive about like i don't no, know 
maybe it's also our laws don't really help things. Uh, in the in the news, I know this is kind of this is kind of off topic, but not really. But in the news uh, recently, um, New York became what the sixth state to get rid of the gay panic um, defense. So people could say, you know, yeah, I was at a bar, I met this cute girl, uh, I took her home, and it turned out she was trans, and so I killed her. She scared me. She should have told me the truth. People are getting lesser sentences for that, or they're getting off scot-free for it. Uh, and it's all because of the gay panic, right? Um, I so think, the, the, fact, well, the fact that even our laws, for the longest time, helped uh, helped cultivate this idea, um, you know, maybe maybe that's why it's still kind of a thing nowadays. I don't know. I think every time something gets into the area of sex and gender or something, it just it just goes to some part of people's mind that it doesn't that even murder and genocide doesn't go. You know what I mean? It just affects people in a different way. I don't know, a different reaction. Either you know, I mean, e e example I give to people is like you know, for example, Game of Thrones had so many scenes of people being beheaded, tongues being pulled out child being burned alive right and people were watching it and all of a sudden when, so when somebody i don't know if you haven't watched this so i don't want no spoilers somebody a favorite character got raped there was a petition to cancel the show to boycott the show right uh, like so the rape scene was one step too far even though you had a lot of murder and child burning and a whole bunch of other stuff that was okay but the right. rape was the problem the, the rape was the part that so i don't i think this is why i think for even among all the sins, like, I know, transgender stuff, homosexuality, I think, I don't know why people just react to these things more. Like, you could tell somebody that, oh, so-and-so committed genocide, or like, oh, what a bad man, and like, oh, this guy is gay, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the level of disgust, for some reason, is more, I don't know. Jackie is saying, I, aroused by one's own body, uh, what, I think he's portraying his own thoughts here, because that's just a weird association. Uh, so Palm is saying, yeah, I don't know. Does anybody get aroused by their own body? I, I was wondering that. Like, I've seen myself and I'm like, wow, I look pretty good, you know? Uh, or something like that. But I'm not like, oh my god, I have to have sex with it. Like, I'm, I don't... <laughs> does anybody I don't does anybody look at the mirror and like, I would, I, would, I would fuck that. Does anybody <laughs> do that ever? I don't know. I mean, it's interesting if they do. I mean, no shaming on you if, it, if that's... I mean, that's... That's it's fine, okay. it's fine it's but it's just, I'm just curious. I'm not shaming anybody if they do want to fuck themselves. Uh, so Pam is saying, Armin, I sent you an article with the study showing that, that homophobic people are likely homosexuals themselves. I can send the link to Ali as well. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm probably not going to see it. I get way too many messages. But again, just, if there are studies like this, like, be careful just because it's more likely. That doesn't mean all. OK, so just if somebody is a homophobe, that doesn't mean they're gay just 100 percent of the time. OK, uh, it doesn't mean just in case you didn't hear what I said. The mad gay theist is saying you can't become gay that way. The only way to become gay is to apply at headquarters. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll apply yeah. that at our headquarters. Yeah, you, you guys have the, your own headquarters. <laughs> That's impressive. Okay. And uh, let me see. Lisa is saying sometimes I take off my ring so not to commit adultery. Good on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can still have respect for myself in the morning. I draw the line at watching myself, though. I don't want to do it with someone. Uh, Someone so out of shape. Ah, oh, Lisa doesn't. Oh, okay, that's, that's funny. Uh, to to Milo is saying there's a bit of similarity between masturbating and praying, though it feels good to be. I don't think that's fair, but let me continue. It feels good to the person doing it, but has no effect whatsoever to the person you are imagining of. Yeah, but masturbating is healthy, I think. Isn't yeah, it? yeah it's, masturbating it's good is for you. healthy. Yeah, it's good for you. So don't compare it to praying. That's not fair to masturbating. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, 
cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.